Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and before we start this video I want to ask you to subscribe and click the bell button down below to stay updated on our latest, greatest, most awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with the video. This is a $190 projector. It projects in 1080p Full HD. It's pretty cool, it's cheap. It can maybe be your first projector. There's only one over here, but what if I said I have two? These are two projectors and I'm giving one away for you, just for you, because you're so cool. Yeah, just comment below that you want to win this projector and then, then, who knows, maybe I'll send it out to you. There's one in here, this can be one for, for you, yeah. Oh yeah, subscribe as well and like the video. By the way, I also have a 20% discount code if you want to buy this product. If you didn't win it, I can't give away 100 of these projectors, I only have one to give away, so... Uh, so what is on this box? It has remote control, MHL support, LED source, stereo speaker, headphones, HD support, AV3 in one support, VGA, 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 VGA support, fragile, keep dry, blah blah blah, we don't need this. Alright, let's check this out. A projector, it has also always been a child dream of mine to have a projector in my room. I have one with, I, you can't see it, there's a BenQ uh, W1050 over there, very good projector, we definitely recommend BenQ projector if you're looking for a professional one. This is a cheap model, let's see if it's any good. So, power cable, these are the uh, three color cables we used to have for PlayStation 2, for example. And then we have the projector and the manual and all that. So, this is a Pike projector, Pike, Pike, I don't know. So it's an LCD projector, so it has a lifetime of 30,000 hours. It can switch between 69 and 43 picture uh, ratio modes. It has an HDMI mode. I don't know if it will be really, really HD, you know, those HDMI modes, but hey, remember that this is only 180 or 190 dollars. It's not, over, not even 200 dollars and you get a projector for your room, but of course, I hope it's uh, more than decent quality. So uh, immediately we can see that this is a fairly decent projector. It, it has a lot of weight to it, so that's already very good. Um, the seal, the cover is nice. It looks nice with the red and the black. And we have some buttons over here on the top of this projector. So we have the menu buttons over here. You can switch sources, power on, and then the menu, the regular menu button. The focus ring, that looks a bit janky, but if it works. And then on the back you have the IR, AV, the headphones, HDMI. So you can also plug in speakers, for example, via the uh, headphones, which is cool. And the keystone correction, there's also keystone correction on this. That's also very nice. There's a TV, antenna input, VGA input, of course, USB and SD card, even SD card. So you can play uh, videos or music or photos from that SD card, which is also very nice. And the power input as well. All right. So let's power this uh, beast up and see if it works good or not. I'm going to use HDMI for this. I have a projection screen which I can use for this video. Very nice. And yeah, we're going to see if this projector is any good. I'm going to use this camera uh, on um, manual settings because in low light situations it will be difficult to film. I know that, uh, but let's see if it works. Uh, you're going to see the quality and I'm going to get back to you after I've reviewed this or after I've used it. Let's go. So um, we're working in a low light situation right now. So I'm going to power this bad boy up. Uh, do I have some kind of stand for this? Oh, that's just cool. That, that is cool, that is cool. I've just put it on a tripod. You can see the uh, controller over here. And so you have the volume, of course, which you can change. And if I would have batteries up. Uh, Simon. Simon, 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 what are you doing, man? So as you can see with the controller, you can change the volume of the device. I'm going to say already the built-in speakers are not that good. So you have info. So right now it's only 480p at 60 hertz. That's not a lot. Let's see if we can change that maybe. Aspect ratio, HDMI mode. Oh.
We have AV and PC. I don't know what the difference is actually. I'm going to be honest with you. So it says it's HDMI, but of course um, it's only 480p at 60 hertz, which is not a lot. But hey, what did we expect from this? Uh, but as you can see, it does it does work. It, it uh, it's not that it doesn't work. It's only not the best quality you'll ever see. And of course, we're in low light. I forgot to. Uh, change it we're in low light so let's change it and put the lights off you probably won't see me anymore now but i'm going to turn the lights off so as you can see that is way better i'm just going to sit on my bed for now all right so as you can hear the speaker is not awesome it does the job but it's not perfect of course so let's see for example, fast five. So it's not HD as you can see, it's more like SD quality, but um, I'm just going to stand next to the screen so you can see how big the screen actually is. So for comparison, it's it's not HD, but you have a screen that is this this size. So that's I think I have no idea. <laughs> no really, I would say 60, 70 inch, 80 inch, probably more. I don't know, I don't know how many inch there's in centimeter or something, but yeah, it's a big screen. This is my arm. This is the length of almost my, my whole arm like this. And I'm not that small as well, so I'm, it's not like, like, like I'm very small. So let's uh, see a bit more. Alright, so for video it's uh, really not bad, let's play a game. So while the game is booting up, I'm just going to uh, talk to you now. Um, uh, some things already I'm noticing. Uh, one, it's not the best quality, wasn't expecting that either. It's not the best speaker, wasn't expecting that either, but you can fix that with an external speaker, so that's that ain't an issue actually. And also in low light situations, as you can see, it's a bit washed out, it's not perfect, but still it's pretty good for the price, $180. I don't think you'll find a uh, more than decent projector as you can find one here for that price. Of course it's the best one, there is no light in the room and that's what you've already seen um, with the video. I'm going to game a bit on it now to see what the input lag is like and all that stuff, um, how cool it looks when gaming because who doesn't want a projector in its room um, or in its man cave or anywhere else where you have room for it you will need a decent screen to use it i think or a decent uh, white wall that's a bit ref that, that reflects a bit but yeah i think it does the job for now here we are at the start of the match the pitch in with a chance Turned away by the goalkeeper spectacularly. And now he's looking for some support. Guiding it through. A low ball into the box. He scored! Fantastic start! Okay, so I've I've gained a little bit on it and, uh, and I'm losing, so I'm quitting the game. <laughs> no, but uh, it's um it's more than I was expecting from it. I'm going to put it like that. I was expecting a very terrible projector for that price, like really, um, less than SD quality, but this, it's not HD. The quality is not good, it's not perfect, it's okay, and it's very good for movies if it's dark. So if you have a room that you can make completely dark, with your girlfriend for example, you're in the couch eating some popcorn you put on Netflix or you put on... 
a movie on an SD card or you uh, plug in your computer via HDMI, I don't know, and you play a movie, it will work. It won't be um, 1080p cinema quality, but for the price, top notch. Gaming? No. Um, it works for gaming once you're used to it after 5 minutes or something. But if you're used to playing on a good television, if you're used to playing on a um, good projector, for example, the BenQ, uh, then you won't really like this. If you've never had a projector, this is your first one, definitely get this one. It's a very good one. It's amazing how you can get this big of a picture quality for that price. But for gaming, uh, it's it works, it does the job, but the quality is just not on the same level as a real famous projector, like the BenQ projector or Dell projectors, they even have projectors, I don't know, or LG projectors. Those projectors are really um, a different level than, than the Pike projector, which no one knows about. But still, $180, $190, you really can't go wrong for this one. And we're giving one away. So, yeah, if you can get one for um, no money at all, well, then why wouldn't you do it? I don't know. <laughs> right, yeah, but overall, my verdict on this projector, it's a very good projector for the price. It's not an HD projector, not at all. Um, you won't be blown away by the picture quality, but you will be blown away by the fact that this projector for that price does all that. And it's very nice and I would definitely recommend it. Alright, if you have any questions regarding this Pike projector, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to answer them. Remember to enter our giveaway, just put a comment, like and subscribe and I'll pick any comment, I'll comment on it, yeah you've won or something and then I'll send you the projector, give your details and all that stuff and it's all okay. I also want to say to all the people commenting, I like you very much. And you know who you are. Um, it's not because you comment you will win, but who knows? Alright, see ya.